Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some really cool iPhone hacks that you must have on your device right now. These are pretty cool, will make your device more unique and of course look way, way different from other stock iPhones. Before we get into all that, please make sure to leave a like on this video. That little like button goes a long way to help the video and it will help the channel do much, much better. So please make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more videos. We're starting things off with a shortcut that will do something really cool to your home screen. So a lot of people prefer this setup on the home screen. So you will have like a few widgets on the one side of the screen. You will have the icons on the other side of the screen. So when you do the setup, the coolest thing you can do is have the wallpaper split in half. So you will have maybe this part blurred and this part normal. You can do that pretty simple, pretty easy with this shortcut. So what you need to do is install this shortcut, which I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. Just run the shortcut and load your wallpaper from the photo library. Once you have selected your wallpaper, what you need to do now here is choose which side you want to blur. So let's go with the right side. And if you see any pop-ups right here, just make sure you tap on allow everything. Now from here, what I can do is just go ahead and set this as a wallpaper or just go ahead and save the image. So just like that, you will also have the options here. So just tap on save photo. You have it saved under the camera roll of your device. Now let's go ahead and apply this to the home screen. So just go ahead and apply this to your home screen. Use this wallpaper. Make sure to turn off perspective zoom and click set and you're good to go. And now when we go to the home screen, you can see how cool this page looks. We have this part that has been blurred right here and it looks much, much better than the wallpaper we just had without the blur here. And of course, it will like make the widget stand out on the home screen. And now let's move on with another wallpaper. Now this wallpaper is made especially for the lock screen. You will have a bunch of different shapes that you can download. I will show you guys that in a second, but here we have the wallpaper and it will create this pretty cool shape on the lock screen of your device. So if we just apply this to the lock screen, so use this wallpaper, make sure you don't move it around here. Just tap on perspective zoom to turn it off, click set and set it on the lock screen. Now, when you go on the lock screen and it unlocks your device, you can see right there, it will change the shape. So let me just unlock the device here. And you can see when it's unlocked, how it looks. It actually looks pretty cool. So it will have a bunch of different shapes you can choose from. Let me just go to the website real quick and show you how to get those. So just head on to this website that of course I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. From here, you can see a bunch of different shapes that you can download. So we will have all kinds of different shapes and colors that you can go ahead and get for your device. That's the one that I just had right there. And you can see you also have a wallpaper without the figure right there, which you can apply to the home screen if you want to have matching wallpapers. You want to get one of these, just tap on it and it will open like this. Just go ahead and 3D touch on it and add to your photos and then just simply apply it to your lock screen. Next up, we have mini widgets. This is probably the coolest thing that you can have right now on the home screen of your iOS device. You can see how these work. They actually work like widgets should. They're interactive and you can do a lot with these widgets. So I tap right there, I can go ahead and close the mail mini widget and you can see it looks just normal, but of course you can expand these and of course you can see the health right there. It's a small widget. I can make it bigger just like that tap to go back here, make it half of the widgets just like that. You can see how cool that is. You can do pretty much anything with these widgets. So I have the settings right here, tap right there to open the settings widget. And of course I can go ahead and even like turn off the Wi-Fi from here. So of course it will work through shortcuts. I will show you guys how to install that in a second, but you can see right there, it did turn off the Wi-Fi and all that directly from the home screen. So you will have things like a search bar right there for Safari. You will have other apps here. You will have your clock right there. You will have your shortcuts, your mail maybe. So if I tap there, you can see I can go ahead and compose directly from there or open the mail app. That's really, really cool. Super useful. You probably wonder how you get these widgets on the home screen of your device. Well, the process is pretty simple. Thanks to the creator 
of this widget this is actually really really awesome so let's just head on and open this link which of course you will find linked right down below in the description of the video now i have already purchased this but what you can do is of course just slide down here enter a fair price that you can of course pay for these you can even not pay but it's fair that you pay something because it took a lot of work for this actually to be created and then just tap purchase right there so i already have done this so let's just view the the things right here so once you view in the content right here there are a few things you need to download so you will have right here v3.1 so this is the version 3.1 you can tap on it and you will have three different widgets you can, which you can install so we will have here you can see part one two and three so these that you see here on my home screen this is one and this is two these are the two examples that i put here of course you can download these simply by tapping the download button and tap on download right here then go to your downloads you will find of course your downloads here and just make sure to tap on it and it will open on widget if you don't have widget installed you can install it from the link right down below in the description of the video what you will need else is also these shortcuts which of course will make the widget work so right here this one and these if you want to use the contacts widget as well once you are done that all you have to do is apply them through widget and you will have these interactive widgets right on the home screen of your device that actually look really really cool and will allow you to do much much more with your widgets instead of just having widgets there that just are taking place on your device and not doing anything else at all for this next trick i want to give a shout out to iDevice help he's the one that has posted about this first on youtube i've seen it first on his channel so big shout out to him so it is a trick that will let you have any emoji you want on the status bar of your device well to do that you will need to modify your wallpaper now there's a trick to do that through focus modes but there are just a few like different icons which of course are limited but with this trick what you can do is go to the wallpaper that you want to use on your home screen and then just tap the edit button once you have done that tap on markup and then go ahead and tap the plus button tap on text now right here it will have some text you can just go ahead and delete that and what you can do is go to the widgets right here to actually to the emojis right here and just put anything you want there any of your emojis let's go with a flag here so i can choose a flag maybe you can choose the flag of your country right there and of course choose this to have on the status bar of your device now once you have that selected you can tap here and make it smaller or bigger and once you're done with that all you have to do is just go ahead and place this anywhere you want right here on the screen of course you will need to place it right here at the status bar if you want this to work and of course have it always right there on the status bar with that you tap done tap done here and now let's go ahead and set this as a wallpaper so what you can do here is of course make the wallpaper smaller or just like rearrange it to make it fit on the status bar of your device once you have done that you can set it on the lock screen home screen whenever you want it and you will have that little emoji right there on the status bar always on your device even if we go to the lock screen you can see we have that emoji which in this case is a flag right on the status bar next up is a really simple hack but you will find it useful probably a lot of times on your daily life so whenever you're listening to music especially when you have your iphone connected to your car you will receive notifications all the time that will actually interrupt your music all the time and it's really really annoying all you have to do for that to stop while playing music and your iphone connected to your car just make sure to turn on the mute switch right there and then you won't be interrupted by notifications while you're listening to your music and driving your car for this next trick we're moving to safari and this is pretty cool so a lot of times you will find websites that have text which you can actually not copy and you need maybe something to copy out of that website or maybe links or stuff like that that you cannot copy well what you need to do is, is install an app which i will leave linked down below in the description of the video it is called to markdown and all you have to do is install it and then of course go to manage extensions on safari and make sure you have that enabled the way it works all you have to do is just tap on it and tap on convert and it will actually copy everything that's on that website so you can see all the text all the links will be copied just like this and you can of course go ahead copy this and even add it to a note directly from here so you will have 
all the text and everything copied right there from any website that you need. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this and leave a like on this one because it really helps out a lot. I will see you guys on the next video.